flab and MRCP question mark, which is better, which pathway to choose. First and foremost, I cannot be making a decision for you between flab and MRCP. I can lay down all the information for you and you can then make the decision because people literally DM me asking me, so which one should I choose? Can you please tell me? Which makes me very uncomfortable because I wouldn't be too comfortable making someone else's career choices. Neither would I ask someone else to make my career choices. So having said that, Lab is a licensing exam. It is basically to just grant you license to practice medicine in the UK. MRCP, MRCS, MRCGP, MRC Psy, MRCPH, these are all Royal College exams. So basically there are criteria for you to be giving parts of these exams. Say MRC Psych has three parts. There's paper A, paper B, and then this CASC exam, which is the OSCE exam. Anybody can be given these exams anywhere in the world. If you meet the criteria of, you know, the parts of the exam like some of the criteria are you should have worked for a year in psychiatry to give a certain part of the exam so anybody even sitting in India without having any plans to moving to UK can give MRC psych exam or MRC OG exam or MRC any of these membership royal college exams these are membership exams you know it's like having after MBBS MD you, you might see people write MRCS or MRC psych title written after you know all the qualifications that they have done in their life if you clear all the parts of these exams say mrcp all the three parts or mrc psych all the three parts if you clear them then you get granted gmc license you can apply for gmc license if you've cleared all these parts of these exams once you apply for gmc license and obviously that means that you know you're eligible to be working in the uk a lot of people tend not to work because they just want the title written after their qualifications some people obviously give the royal college exams with the intention of coming to uk to work once you enter into uk to work you wouldn't be recognized as a consultant you wouldn't be recognized as a trainee you would start at the same level as you know anybody else applying for jobs not in the same level like qualification wise but you know you would start the process at the same level of applying for jobs so you could apply for a registrar post which would be a non-training again or you could apply for st equivalent post unless you're applying for training so these are all non-training posts which you would apply for and you would work over here unless you apply for higher training so higher training again has different procedure of getting into once you clear your royal college exams you apply for gmc license and once you get your gmc license you would apply for either training post or non-training post if you've done your pg which is post graduation in india that is not recognized here all right so you wouldn't be working here as a consultant you have to do your higher training over here or your specialty training over here for you to be a consultant over here so once you've cleared your royal college exams you wouldn't be recognized as a consultant here you will have to do your higher training over here to be recognized as a consultant. With regards to PLAV exams, I have in depth explained it. It's in my previous videos, you can watch them, but I'm gonna just quickly touch upon it. PLAV exams are licensing exams. Once you've cleared your PLAV exams, you get your GMC license, then you apply for training or non-training posts. You know, then the pathway is that you get into core training and then you get into specialty training and then you become a consultant. So that's the pathway for PLAV exams. For MRCP, MRCOG, MRCS, and all of those exams, I would recommend if someone has done their PG back home in India, I would recommend them to do the Royal College exams to then apply for, you know, jobs over here. You can continue working as a non-trainee, like at a registrar level, or then you can apply for your higher training and then you can become a consultant. I hope I have cleared that. I'm literally trying to break it down in as simple words as possible. I hope that has made sense to you guys. Lab exams are just licensing exams. They, it is not a degree. It's just a licensing exam for you to get GMC license to then enter into the system to apply for, you know, either a non-training job, a training job, get into core training, specialty training, become a consultant. Royal College exams, again, they give you GMC license and then you can apply for jobs over here at you know, whatever level based on your qualifications from back home in India. You can work as a non-trainee as well, non-trainee registrar or non-trainee specialty doctor equivalent jobs after clearing your Royal College exams and then apply for, if you want to get into training, higher training and become a consultant. I really hope I've explained that. These are not courses. PLAB is not a course. Royal College exams are not a course. These are just exams for you to get your GMC license to then enter into training. PLAB exams are for you to get GMC license, Royal College exams are for you to become a member of the Royal College. So these are membership exams. I hope I have made that clear.